all of the great advances of the mid 20th century, the United Nations, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Incidentally, an Australian was the, well, along with Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, was the uh, author of the, uh, principal author of the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948. 1958, the Conventions of Asylum. 1973-74, ratified at the uh, uh, United Nations General Assembly. But the due process came into being in uh, about 800 years ago, Magna Carta as a shield between the sovereign in those days, now the state uh, and the people. They were, the state and the people relate to each other through a body of laws. We know that uh, it, by the phrase due process. Every aspect of due process has been abandoned in the case of Julian Assange. It roughly means that in the English context, that each side be equally armed. Julian is in a glass box at the back of the stage with a raised floor. In order to speak to his lawyers, he gets on his knees and speaks through a 30 millimeter or inch and a half crack in the glass box while the, the barrister or solicitor or lawyer on the other side stands on their tippy toes and he whispers into their ears and this so-called whispering is heard by the prosecution which sit comfortably with their lawyers in the well of the court. An application before the judge to move Julian into the well of the court, the judge said, it's not my responsibility, it's the responsibility of the prison. The prison says, it's not our responsibility, it's the responsibility of the lawyer. Catholic couldn't do it better.